Hi everybody, Stefan here from EDC Austria and today we are talking about my EDC bag. You know this always coincides with the regular EDC video and if you know last month's video I had kind of packed it in a different bag in sort of a survival scenario but that's kind of unrealistic. I live in the city and I don't go out much, I'm pretty sick, so uh, I did it more to what I might really need if, I, um, if I'm missing something or I have to go to the hospital from some other place when I'm not at home and so on. But of course I do have the essentials. And just to give you an idea, here is my good old trusty shoulder bag which has one compartment in the front then this here where the letterman goes and my my uh, wallet here is a lot of stuff here in the bag usually then goes the knife the flashlight and here the um, how are they called hot hands and the mirror Okay, oh, and by the way, we just reached a hundred subscribers like 10 minutes ago, but uh, I will, I'm hesitant to say this because someone's gonna unsubscribe just to make me look stupid, or at least I would do that. Well, so let's start here. Here on the right, we have all my kind of medical things, two boxes with important medication this one being the more important stuff that's why it's in a waterproof container and as always needs to be refilled because I keep my meds in another room and often I am too lazy to get there, so I just take it out of the bag, which is not smart, I know that. Here we have my fentanyl pain patch, which lasts for three days, just in case mine runs out and I haven't thought about it, or I'm in a hospital where they don't have it. That's the stuff that killed Prince, by the way, just saying. Then here I've, I have two satchels of or, oral rehydra re rehydration salts. That was hard to get out. That's if you haven't drank any liquids in a while. This helps you to get your to get rehydrated. If you mix it with water, it's better than just drinking water. Here are some eye drops, although those are just the, the ones that also give you a bit of moisture, but I still have very intense problems when it comes to my vision. Here are three hygiene items, which were a nice gift from a friend in Holland. Here is body lotion, shampoo, and the regular bath soap, all also very nice things to have if you need to stay at a hotel or in my case a hospital, which is kind of the same thing for me at this point in time. A few fell down earlier because I've had this set up the whole day. I filmed the German version earlier and then I forgot about it and I fell asleep. So I, I have a few of those inside, those uh, is magnesium powder. You just swallow it basically and it gives you your, your daily ration. Then here is one of the two lights I carry. This is the Olight as Temperton. Runs with 400 lumen which is more than enough. I will do more flashlight reviews, by the way. I just spent a small fortune on ordering a bunch of new flashlights and they will be released and tested as they arrive. 
and I will also do some of the ones that I already have that prove popular that have been proven popular. There are a few videos about flashlights early on, so you might want to check those. And my main light is the Nightcore SRT5, which goes with 750 lumens. And you have this great ring where you can really set it exactly the way you want it and not just some preset. Or you can set it in strobe but have it turned off you have it in any other and you know you're gonna need it in strobe you turn it on and then press so nobody has time to adjust to it yet it also has um, blue it's blue and red which is called the police strobe which is highly illegal in the US to use not so much here. This has an 18650 battery of which I usually carry a second one, but I wasn't able to locate this. I must have recharged it. Also for that I have a recharger, which also can be used as a charger itself. So if you put a full 18650 battery in there it's about the same milliamp hours as a full battery of a cell phone a good cell phone a new one here i have a 5000 milliamp external battery which is quite dirty as i just noticed ah and now it fell down here because I'm always afraid I won't have any light. Here's a Zippo. Another one I carry with me is a regular big lighter. But don't forget, this is always in conjunction with the, with the EDC I have on my body, where the video was released yesterday, I think. The final electrical thing is the recharger which comes from my Galaxy S7 so it's pretty strong. And of course a cable for it. The next thing is my chapstick. I made an effort and imported some real American chapstick. Here they are named differently of course. But when I said chapstick, I wanted to mean chapstick here. I still have two wet fires, which are basically enable you to make fire in pretty much any environment should you need it. Here I have a hex wrench in many different variations. I just received this in the mail, so I thought put it in the back, carry it, see if you need it. I don't see an immediate need for it now, but you never know. Here we have the CRKT IOTO, which is a nice bottle opener and a kind of spork. Um, I use the bottle opener from time to time as they recently began to reissue some nice beverages in glass bottles and not just cans and even worse plastic bottles you can taste the difference and i don't drink alcohol but i do enjoy myself some beverages here i carry batteries for all the kinds of lights i might be traveling with so i have an cr123a which would go in the s10 a triple a which would go in my uh, Nightcore T2S which is on the on the regular keychain and a double A which would go in the S1A which I also carry quite often. Then I have two five hour energy drinks which by the way contain four times the caffeine of a Red Bull and from some other vitamins they contain 8000% of the daily needs. 
So even some vitamins they told me I could no longer absorb from anything in my stomach. With this it still works, although I doubt it's very healthy. I do carry a Swiss army knife with me. I mean, you all know what these can do. This one also has a bottle opener, small blade, a pair of scissors. Here, an all uh, a parcel holder. Oh shit! Damn it! Okay, I repaired it. Still need to cut that out. Here is my Letterman sidekick which I really often find useful even last time in the hospital to cut some pizza. You can really use the pliers on the it has on the inside it comes with the saw and the blade both of them locking and on the other side you have the bottle opener and tin opener, a file and a serrated edge and on this side you have a 3D Phillips head and a flat screwdriver. Flathead, sorry. It's been a long day, but I need to do this video so that I can clear this table and tomorrow you should finally see the new background. I've been talking about it for days, but I haven't got around to it. If you're one of those people who watches both my English and my German videos, you'll see that I switched the folders. I have only one of those always in the bag and I switch them but both the red one and the what's what it called the injection 3.5 are both very new I just have them a week or two and I want them I want to test them a bit more before trusting them like I do this zero tolerance 801 and this zero tolerance 0220 because these ones I can depend upon I don't know I mean the red one and the Kershaw injection are nice knives but I rather test them first and also I need to do a video about the injection as for writing instruments I currently don't carry a dedicated pen just this I mean in my regular EDC I do, but not in the bag. In the bag I just have this shred with which I did write a bit, but not as much as I thought I, I would and it still is a decent impact weapon. As a backup I also have my pepper spray, the ballistic one, which won't hit me. If I do it upwind or downwind, I still don't know which is the right one. Here uh, it's not nicotine gum, but it's nicotine pills. You just, it's like nicotine candy. So you have one of these pills in your mouth for like 30 to 45 minutes. Usually makes me think I should smoke a cigarette when I have those. But in case I'm in the hospital and can't smoke and yeah then of course it is after all winter so i do have a package of hot hands which was also not shown in the german video so you do get extra content if you bought, watch both videos here is my rain poncho and this will be changed to a high quality one in the near future i just haven't got around to it yet then my mirror 
first for signaling here you can see no you don't want that my lights um, and of course you can use a mirror just to look on yourself if you again lie in the hospital wanna wanna know how you look like okay here is my fixed blade i did a review about this you have a full grip with this mora l grease but a very tiny blade but for small crafts and if you have to cut together some wood or cardboard it's very nice it's it can also be used as a neck knife you have you have the, the hole here but I use it as a normal fixed blade at the moment come on getting the shakes again then I have some new headphones I just bought again in case of hospital visits because I want to listen to podcasts I can't sleep any other way and in the hospital the TV would run in German and I hate that and also at some hour they want us to turn off the TV and I need something to listen to in order to sleep of course I do carry a rescue blanket yeah not much to say about that you all know what a rescue blanket's for it should reflect about 80 to 90 percent of your body heat and if you're injured or can't move it helps a great deal here is another great gift i got from a dutch friend from the same friend who gave me the hygiene products here here is some wrapped uh, duct tape and some emergency paracord both is great to have if you really need it then of course my 100 milliliter emergency water ration a hundred milliliters really makes a lot of difference a few days ago I was at a doctor where I had to wait way much longer than I anticipated and I couldn't even talk anymore but I had this with me when I walked out because I forgot to ask for a drink of water in, the, in his place and then had my 100 milliliters and I was fine again. If you remember last month's video I switched to the, to the small one, to the neck pocket but yeah I like to have a bunch of stuff with me like my list of medications and clearly visible my ID and so on so a regular wallet is much nicer also if you already are carrying a shoulder bag why not put it in there it's not like you don't have the space and there are only two things left here is some antiseptic hygiene gel so you can it kills 99 point well here it says only 99 percent of bacteria usually they say they kill 99.9 percent .9%. is this a bad one well anyway hand sanitizer and my sunglasses which are important not to look cool but i really look bad in i mean i can't see well and i do look bad but I can't see well and if it's too bright it hurts my eyes a great deal so again thanks for the 100 subscribers I'll announce a giveaway soon and by soon I mean in the next couple of days that's it for now if you like this video please give it a like and if you want to see more videos more reviews of knives and edc gear please subscribe would mean a great deal okay that's it for now continue your holidays bye bye